What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need right up front, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step tutorial. Today, we're going to show you exactly how to find all those files or list items that haven't been categorized, like where did they go? Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward. Okay, let's get that timer rolling. So, someone comes to you and says, hey, um, there's supposed to be like some Atari entries in, in here and we're missing a Sega entry. Where are they? I can't find them. Well, they're probably an unassigned. We take a peek. Oh snap, none of these have assignments. Well, let's go ahead and let's go to all items because you can't do quick edit if it's grouped. And we'll just go ahead and assign the company. And then we'll drag this down here. But we know this one's going to be Sega. And then we know this one's going to be Atari again. And then we just go ahead and say exit grid view. And then we go back to group by company. Ba bam! You found them! All right, so let's slow it down and talk about what unassigned is and why that happens and how to prevent it. And that was weird that it just switched. Nevertheless, before we do that, I want to give a great big shout out to all of my followers, everyone's watching, and people who watched in the past. If you haven't had a chance, go ahead and click like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you can know as soon as new stuff is available. Okay, so let's slow it down and take a peek at that whole unassigned scenario. So you're going to learn a couple of tips and tricks. Like first, first of all, if you want to do quick edit or edit in grid now, it's the same as quick edit. It's the same thing. Um and and then so you're gonna go you need to go to all items you can't have a grouped view if you're trying to make quick edits here grid view so edit grid view and then i'm just gonna go ahead and clear this out just to take us back to square one so now you're seeing how to clear things out um we'll go ahead and get rid of all those exit grid view and now these are empty for the company and we're going to go back to group by company and that's weird oh okay a little bit of a delay and we can see we've got unassigned so you know there'll be times where your end users or your colleagues will say you know i'm you know missing some files like where's stuff and that can be because the grouped view the column that is being used in the group view hasn't been filled in so then it goes to unassigned and that unassigned is just the default that SharePoint uses for uh, any grouping that is empty. Look here, we can see there is no company. Well, how do we fix that? Well, we could go onesie twosies and all that jazz, but we'll just go to quick edit, but we can't do that in the grouped view. So we're gonna have to go back to all items. And then we go in here, we edit in grid, we add in the company, and here we get the luxury of uh, dragging this little corner down. And then again, we know this is Sega, and then we're gonna go back with Atari. And it caches some of those um, things that you type, so that's kind of neat. And then we can exit the grid view, then categorize, and now we can go back to group by company. And we'll just wait for a couple of seconds, and there you go. Now everything has been found, has been categorized. So hopefully this helps if you are feeling like you're missing some things or you're wondering what unassigned is all about. So keep doing the very best you can with what you got. And remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.